Well, there is something interesting about this whole flattened thing. What's that? It doesn't take into account the curvature of the planet. So. You know, that really begs the question. Uh-huh. If we flatten, just straight out flatten, can we flatten ourselves into space? It kind of seems like it. Because if you come over here, I flatten straight from the base. We're a right. fair bit above the ground now. Yeah, because it's a small planet. I mean, it's a teeny tiny planet. In the yeah, grand you scheme can of see, things, yeah. Right, you can see the curvature from sitting, from just being here. Right. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> we could, we could make this planet flat. We still need things off this planet, but yes, at some point we definitely could. It is it is a doable... There is a lot... Oh, that's all the generators. It's like, there's a lot of shit in the heat pit. <laughs> yeah. So some of the tethers get buried in the ground, and some of them pop out of it. That's consistent. It's, just... it's a little concerning. Oop, shit. Alright, our power grid set up. Nice. Minus the what? Uh, what about the one that you made? The one what? The one that you made. Oh, I see. It's just uh, it's just there for right now. Okay. The one that's like seventy miles away. Yeah. The the cord's just sitting there. Right. Cool. You know what? If we're gonna go for this, mm. I would rather have the symmetry. This is bothering me. I'm gonna get rid of these for this. I'm I'm over this. So, at what point did you decide I'm gonna do the power? You're not doing the power. No, you. You. Oh, me? Yeah. Um. I'm gonna be power guy. I have no idea. It just kind of happened. Okay. I had a good idea for it. I don't even remember what my initial good idea was. I remember it wasn't really a good idea now. <laughs> as as but, uh, typically happens in these kinds of games. You have an idea, and then you go, oh, wait, that doesn't actually work. Or not as well as I had hoped. Yeah. Um, I need one medium solar. Do you remember what we need for that? Plastic and... No. No, I don't remember. Why is there... Oh, yes. There's a small battery. How did a singular small battery end up on the ground? I don't know, brother. I what don't... am I supposed to do with this? It's getting it's getting heated. <laughs> okay. Oops. This is more than functional at this point. Like I'm I'm kind of going for aesthetics at the moment. Uh huh. Yeet. All right, where's where's the small printer? Okay, I'm not going to spend forever trying to get this exactly perfectly flat, but... Hmm. 
Let's see. You know what? I threw a small canister somewhere over here. I could have double the dirt right now. Of course that would require... Oh, there it is. Glass and copper. Alright, I just need one. We have glass and copper, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, there's glass. And there's copper, the first two things I look at. Imagine that. Yes, this is this is aesthetically pleasing. I there, like this. So we got There's something squishing at me over here. Yeah, there's weird noises on that side of the base. Okay. okay well, so we're just going to ignore that side of the base then. Oop, 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 oop. Hmm. Alright, so just right here, we're producing 36 units per second of power. Nice. If if the solar and the wind is both blowing. Yeah. And with the batteries, what, one store is 32? Jeez, uh, what's 32 times 32? Oh, fuck, man, I don't know. <laughs> Well, that's the number of powers we can store. You know, that sounds impressive. But it's important to note that it is per second. Do what? When things use a unit, they use a unit per second. Yes. So it can burn through that pretty quick. Not that I know what 32 times 32 is off the top of my head, but uh, I can I can do math. Hmm. 1024? Yeah, 1024. So, when with zero power being produced, what's it's 1024 seconds. With no power being produced, we have 17 minutes of power. That's at uh, one that's unit pretty per solid. second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so that's not just, bad. Yeah, I feel like feel like it's pretty solid. Now, quick question for you. Yeah. Solely aesthetic. Mm-hmm. For the battery farm. Uh-huh. Do you prefer it like this? Or like this? Actually, for the batteries, I think I prefer it that way. Right? That's what I was thinking. Almost everything else is better flat, but there's something about these batteries stacked up like that that looks pretty good. Do you have any um, desire for some small uh, solar or wind power generators? Not, no, not really. Okay. They're being needed. Okay. All 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> the yeet pit makes a shit ton of noise. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Stuff doesn't really settle, I guess. Speaking of a yeet pit... Yeah, I think this will work. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. This, there's <laughs> there's no curvature here. <laughs> so, are you gonna make? Are you just gonna like slope it at the edges? I'm not sure. Or, or is it just gonna be a cliff? I'm not sure. Cliff seems like not the right idea, but. Also, that you're no longer connecting to the ground. I, uh, look, there's only so much I can do with this tool. Whoa, 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 don't fall. You will most likely fall to your death because you're right above a hole. <laughs> It's weird because it looks like you're slanting up, <laughs> but but then when I turn around, it's perfectly flat. <laughs> yeah. It's using power. Nothing. Ow. So close. Where do our vehicles go? They're uh, off near a mountain. Um, if you follow the the extension cords, you'll see them. Okay. Ah. Okay. How'd you get this one trailer over here? I brought the the thing back to get it. Ah, gotcha. Pretty annoying that I can move a spaceship, but not a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh. Oh. Well, do you want more power stuff on the front of your of the trailer? Uh, I might eventually want a battery, but I'm not like super worried about it. Actually, I needed a battery. All right. Well. Oh my gosh! How am I supposed to find? Honestly, we're we're moving the heat pit, so I don't know if you want to move everything in the heat pit. 
I don't know if All that's right, practical. I found, found the battery. No, we'll probably just cover over what's in here. Just, just flatten that hole. I hate the lack of symmetry with Wait. there being one battery. Mm -hmm. Fine, make another battery. Yeah. It's... All I need is a zinc. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I threw this one away, but yeah. <laughs> zinc, where you at? There you are. Jeez, yeah, and you're, you're not going to run out of power anytime soon in this thing. Well, that's good. Because I was, and it was pretty annoying. So I want to try something. What's that? How'd that go for you? It's a little anticlimactic. I'm not sure what you were expecting. I don't know, to, to jump a little bit. The buggy goes faster. I'm going to gotta try it in that. It's actually pretty nice. I really like how the, uh, the last trailer just kind of drifts with you. Also, all of these are pow- oh, that's- oh, oh, uh. okay, I forgot, I forget you can run over the, um, the feathers. Oh. Oh, fuck. When did I fuck that up? You get even a slightly wrong angle while you're flattening. And it's not flat anymore. Well, it's flat to something else. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna, this thing's gonna fly. Oh, that got some yeah, decent air. Yeah, that was air. much better. That was better. What do, you, what do you think of the eat pit? Oh. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, man. I'm... I'm happy. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yeah. Just, just don't fall in. There's no coming out. Yep. In fact, I know the first thing I'm going to eat in there. Oh, what's that? One second, I'll go get it.
Why is it only sometimes you can run over the the? Why do I want to keep wanting to call them pylons? You can run over the tethers, and sometimes you can't. I've never had an issue where I couldn't. The tethers? Yeah. Oh, sometimes they get knocked over when you run over them. Hmm. I know I've had issues uh, walking into them, but never running over them. Oh, <laughs> this is a little dangerous. A, a little, yeah. <laughs> You're also kind of jackknifing it. Yep, a bit, like, well, a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think it, it it refuses to stay in a direction you it, tell it to. It, it knows what you're doing. It doesn't appreciate it. This is, this is getting too difficult. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, unconnect it. Uh, uh, are you kidding? <laughs> Hold on. Can I push it? It's... <laughs> A little more. A little more. You good? No. Shit. The, the wheels come off the cliff and then they come back on. Oh, hey! Nice. The yeet pit's been christened. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, this thing's weird to drive with nothing behind it. <laughs> Doing? Emptying the yeet pit. Oh. Well, why'd you empty it? Well, because new yeet pit. Eh, ah, fair enough. I was just gonna leave everything in there and just pave over it. Yeah, but... I don't know. There's something about filling a yeet pit. And... Nothing nothing in this game clips, so this will actually fill. <laughs> and slowly make a lot of clicking noises. Oh no. Oh no. Could you imagine when this thing is full? It's <laughs> gonna be deafening on this planet. <laughs> I love it. 
Okay. Okay, you're gonna come this way. What are you? You're the smelter. You're the centrifuge. Printer! Hmm. Now, I'm not totally sure where we want to put everything. Hmm. I wish we could build a little fence. Put a fence around the heat pit. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Arm. Let's see. I don't know what anything is in this in this place. <laughs> hey, medium printer. So we're gonna have a printing section. Well, we're gonna right. have a printing platform. Oh, we're gonna have all three printers on one platform? Yeah, why not? Nice. Uh, wrong way. Nice. Do you have the, the little one set up somewhere? Uh, no, but I see it. You do. And then, let's see. Oop, no, 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 no. Yeah, look at that. That's excellent. Uh, hey, where's all of our extensions? Because we're going to need a lot of extensions. Um, I, I don't think we had a bunch left. I don't think so either. How does one make extensions? Copper. You can do it on your backpack. Extenders and yeah, just copper. Well. Hmm. Well, it looks like I'm about to use our last copper. Our last one? Yeah. Oh, all right. That or it's... There might be more copper somewhere. I really don't know. Uh, there was at least one on one of those big storage platforms, but I don't know where it is. Nope, I found one. Okay, well, about to use our last two copper. Okay. I don't mind, it's just it's scary to think that that's it. Mm -hmm. Where where do we get copper from? The mountain. Okay, it wasn't from a different planet. No. Okay, now we have extenders. Let's get everything set up where we want it, and then we'll connect cables. Okay. So I'm thinking of having, like, a little automated furnace area. Okay. Um, if you want to... Hey. Yes. Put that down for a second. Yes. I want to try something. Okay. Pick it up. <laughs> oh. That's unfortunate. So I'm thinking of probably having... Well, throughput really isn't our issue with smelting. It's just automation, but I don't know. Do you think we should have one more? Another smelter? Yeah. Um. No. No. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. 
solely because the one smelter draws five seconds of unit, five units of power per second. True, true. Like that's that's a lot. If we get two of those running with something with researching, like that's yeah, that's a lot of power would be draining. All right. Well, I'm just moving some stuff over this way. I'm not saying this is where I necessarily oh, yeah, want fine. it. <laughs> I know I just said, or was just saying that our power is going to be fine for a while. But uh, that's a lot of smelting and a lot of power. You're right. The magic soil machine. We don't really need that here. Oh. oh. Here's another thing of extenders. I know we had some, just not like a lot. I got three of them now, which is going to be more than enough. Does this not plug in? What? Oh, no, never mind. It's a rocket ship thing. Actually, do we have a, well, okay, I'd like that thing to be on a bigger platform, or, well, maybe when we get a bigger one, the shredder. What, what? Oh, I mean, yes, but, yeah, we don't have a bigger shredder, so. Yeah, it's fine as it is, I guess. This is that's so great how this works. What? Laying the cable. Oh yeah. It it's pretty nice. I I like that. I wish it would work. Like, I wish the button was a dedicated button for it. But whatever. I mean, you do it so. I don't know. The fact that C will get you there. Okay, and now your uh now the solar farm or the wind farm is connected to. Cool, 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 cool. Um So, okay. So we'll have a little smelting area. I would like to have an arm feeding off of this into a larger storage area. This is pretty genius, and I like the way this looks. <laughs> um, possibly an arm feeding into this, but we don't have that going for us right this second, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I would like uh, some kind of little area for all our exo weirdness the shredder and the the request platform and we're gonna have to build a trade platform yeah and then we kind of have like our little our little crafting area mm -hmm. and that's uh that's about all i have for uh oh and 
we need to figure out where we want our shuttles to be, I guess. They can kind of be off a little bit. Like, they don't need to be in the base. Did that hurt? Nope. Ooh. Um, hey, if you're good with this layout, do you want me to start laying some cable? Yeah, I'm good with it if you are. Alright. I like it. I dig it. It's cleaner than it was by a lot. By a lot. I'm gonna try to keep the cable going around, like, the outside. Oh. We also have a light. I don't know if you want to do something with that. We should do something with that. <sighs> really? What? The extender is like three inches too short. Okay, that. Okay, no. Just, we're just gonna move this over a little bit. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna put an extender right there. Okay, I'm gonna lock you into place. Let's see. Lock you. Lock you. Oh god, I forgot about our spaceships. Our old spaceships. Um, throw them in the heat pit? That's gonna fill the heat pit real quick. Hmm. Oh, we left all our packagers on the other planet, didn't we? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, I'm putting this uh, exo request platform like further in the back corner because it doesn't need power. Okay. I'm good with that. How are we doing on macaroni? Um, I don't think we have any, but there's so much literally everywhere. Well, it's, I found a little bit of copper, but it's intermingled with macaroni. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if we don't have any macaroni, then... Oxygen. Oh, there it is. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think we mined this whole area. Really wasn't any any more on the that I saw on the mountain. Oh no, I do see some more. Oh, lots more. Okay. Ooh. Um, where is okay. Craft a seed. I take that. The seed is moving. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that's a weird one. We still don't yet have a solution for our excess stuffs. What do we want to do? Just like a storage area? Ah, uh, to some effect. I... Like just get a bunch of these the silos? Um... Or not like a bunch, but... I mean, make a large platform just for the silos. We could have, what, four silos? Well, eventually we could have a, a ton of, um, something. Maybe. Maybe maybe a large platform for them, though. Research roll one. Ye.
just thinking back, we've made a lot of progress in this episode. Oh, well, episode. Oh, this episode, this session. <laughs> I mean, and we've been to we've been to two planets. Completely redesigned the base. Still working on that though. But this is this looks so much better than it did earlier. By a large amount. I do want to say, I love that the printers don't clip into anything anymore while they're printing. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. <laughs> it's uh, it's a little less frustrating. Let's see, how are we doing power-wise? I don't think we're... Are we losing? Uh, we're starting to lose a little bit of power. Okay, more than a little bit. Alright, that's fine. But then the wind kicks back on and we're gaining it again. Or we were gaining it. Yep. Okay. Yep, with two research and the smelter running. cost two titanium not cheap Well, we just went through about half of our batteries, and now they're starting to recharge again. Huh. Holy crap. I mean, that was, that was a good little while that was going down. Um, that's not that bad. We're fine. Like, the amount of time that it takes, like, either the solar panels, or, not, well, it's we're only going to have this problem at night. Because during the day, we're going to have solar going. Right. Um... But either the wind from here or the wind from the other place. One of them's going to be working at some point. I, I don't think power is going to be an issue at all. Not at all. The only thing that is going to bug me is the arm is not going to put these in any particular order. Also, some of these... Oh, that's problematic. <clears throat> so, uh, the, the game does not allow for clipping of stored resources. Really? So we're not getting the full benefit of these. 
which is, uh, I mean, it makes sense. It's a little disappointing. But it definitely makes sense. You need a platform. Oh, I see what you're saying, how close these are together. Um, yeah. It's neat. Is it gonna fill the backside? Oh, I, yes. Yeah. I, I figured it would. It doesn't actually need to touch. Right. Oh, but it can't reach anything over here either. Hmm. There's there there's some work to be done on this system. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the automation to you. You're the you're the expert there. Yes. But it's looking solid. Oops. Ah. I wanna lock that down. Good call. Good call. This too. Alright. I don't know, I guess, and from here, maybe. I don't know, we'll have to figure something out, but. It's got potential. Uh huh. It definitely does. And then we can't build these arms yet, can we? I think we might be able to, actually. Oh, okay. Because we could set one up from here to here, to, to, and it'll just keep kind of moving things down. From where to where? Here. From this the, thing. The soil centrifuge? Yeah. But then we have to feed that with soil. Right, but just that when we feed it with soil and make it, like, everything just kind of moves down. Um... I mean, unless you unless you want to keep this stuff separate, because it is different materials we're looking at. I mean, there's only a few things in here that could be... smelted anyway. Yeah. okay. What I was thinking is maybe having, uh, like those, those storages that can do one particular kind of, like you set it to have like one particular kind of resource and then arms feeding. Like if you put one resource into that, maybe it would automatically know, okay, only that resource can go into here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know how sophisticated it is. 
Uh, there's some, there's, there's some experimenting to be done. But, uh, I'm probably, I'm probably good for tonight. I, yeah, I'd say so. This was, this was a lot of progress. Yeah, uh, compared to where we ended the last, uh, session. Mm-hmm. I would argue we are in a much better place. Oh, yeah. I think we're... <laughs> oh, my God. I think we're finally ready to start uh, working on the story. There's a story? Kidding. Oh. <laughs> it's dawned on me we've done... It's the actual story of, you know, trying to activate the crap and do the shit. We've done none of. Well, I mean... But we have to get to where we are now in order to, like, start working on that. The first play session was mostly just figuring things out. It was learning. This one was no. correcting a lot of the mistakes we made. That's true. That's true. And, again, we went to two other planets, though. Yeah. Getting the resources for stuff. And, I mean, now we can start going to planets and, uh... And getting gases. That's true. And then the world's our oyster. Yes, it is. Did you say this was the first or the last planet you wanted to do? What do you mean? like to activate oh um we'd probably start here i mean we're here yeah true or should it be the last one because uh, i don't know it's regard this is going to be a home base regardless like we're gonna have to come back here all the time yeah for sure which i'm fine with i, I mean this is the only base we're going to put a, be putting a lot of work into like this so yeah. Thank goodness, because this took a while. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm ready to call it here. Alrighty. Two. Oh, uh, we should save. For sure. <laughs> oh, sure. We can we can share the shelter, but not the spaceship. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that was the second play session of Astroneer. Another, uh, let's see, uh, about no, uh, just short of six hours. Uh, that was fun. And now that I know a little bit more about the game, um, it's definitely more satisfying to to know and, and to have a lot of those, like, uh, those little... Uh, shortcuts like with the uh the extension cords and quick adding things to your backpack and all that good stuff so good stuff good stuff and now the base doesn't look like horrible so that's nice uh but yeah so it was a good time we'll most certainly be picking this up again in the future um thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content just like it. But I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.